Welcome back to another episode of what we call Musky Fishing Basics. Today I'm talking with Jeff Vandermortel, WDH Guide Service out of uh, Northern Wisconsin. Jeff, this week we're going to talk August muskies. Um, kind of like location. Let's start with location first. Where where are you going to set up for to try to find these muskies in August? So the month of August is a pretty varied time up here. You know, uh, we're up in the Vilas, Oneida, Iron, Price, Forest County areas here. And we're pretty close, you know, to Lake Superior this far north. And the month of August, at the beginning of August, tends to be one of the hotter times of the year. And then late in August, we're already got what I would say most people would consider like an early fall weather going. You know, if you're living down in, you know, southern Wisconsin or Illinois or somewhere down there, you got temps probably still in the mid, upper 80s, 90s. We're already getting nights where it'd be down in the upper 40s for lows. That would not be uncommon in our area. So that's going to change what the fish are doing. We've got that early fall onset towards the end of August. And in the beginning of August, you're coming off what would be called, I guess, the dog days of summer, kind of that mid to late July. Sometimes the bike can get tougher. It's really weather dependent, but a lot of times uh, it starts to fire back up as August approaches, particularly if you get a good lineup of weather and moon. Um, so in August, you're going to have to see one of two things. As the water temperatures start to drop, you'll see a lot more fish move back shallow. Um, there's always fish in the weeds, but you will see a resurgence in fish, larger fish in particular, towards the end of the month, come back shallow. A lot of times if we get an, 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 uh, an earlier than normal cool down, something that you'd maybe associate with a late or uh, early to mid September, you know, days where the water temps are starting to drop a degree or two, you got highs of maybe, you know, 65 or so, 70, but overnight lows down in that 40 range, expect those fish to come back up shallow. Big blades, double tens, you know, that kind of stuff can get really hot over cabbage, as well as stuff, uh, jerk baits, you know, anything side to size, dive rise type jerk baits. Uh, there can sometimes be that resurgence in the glider bite that we also typically associate with either an early September cool down. Um, but again, look for that in late August because it can be dynamite when it happens early. That window happens every year, it's just when it's going to happen, whether it falls in late August or into early to mid September. Um, rubber bite is usually pretty great throughout the month of August. That's an old reliable, certainly big sizes of rubber, your magnums or if it, you know, a, a magnum bulldog, pounder bulldog, uh, you know, or that size on up, the XL stuff or, or medusas, your husky medusa size to give you an idea. Maybe not quite the monsters and the medusas, that's maybe a little big for our area, but there's certainly fish that will eat it. Um, but you really can't go wrong throwing big baits was, is my point on that. And don't be afraid to throw that stuff over and near the edges of weeds, of course. Uh, it's not necessarily an open water bite. Those fish do come back up to the shallows again with that, with that cool down a lot of times with the overnight lows getting lower later in the month. Um, but also even during the heat. As August comes, our days are starting to get a lot shorter, uh, appreciably shorter, you know, more than you'd think. Again, being this far north, things are a little different up here. Um, but really focus on those weeds. If you have a really hot August, uh, there's a really good rock bite that'll develop in, in a lot of lakes. Uh, now that's not gonna be every lake, not every lake up here has a lot of rock. Or it's really hard to kind of throw a synopsis for one month in when you have so much diversity amongst your bodies of water. But look for large bodies of water with good rock structure, mid lake in particular, or a big um, wind washed rock points or rock bars, gravel bars out in there. Some of your deeper Cisco based lakes can also uh, put a, a tremendous rock bite on. And also don't overlook the night bite. Big blades, top water in August can also be dynamite, especially after dark. Slow rolling rubber or, or other, you know, any type of a big swim bait. Um, with you know more gradual pulls versus the hard sharp snaps that you'd associate with triggering bites during the day uh, For the the rubber and large jerk baits large minnow baits 10 and 12 inch profile minnow baits uh, Can all be good options as well So really the big the big thing to look for is if you get an unprecedented cool down look for those or, uh, Earlier than normal cool down look for those fish to slide shallow again and top water is another one And don't be afraid to go big on that. It's, you know CBJ size cannonball junior size on uh, maybe not quite again to cannonball a little big for around here doesn't mean it wouldn't work but that fat bastard and cbj tend to be better than the smaller options or stuff of that caliber that size uh over those shallow weeds if you get that early cool down or a lot of clouds and rain and if it stays hot look for those fish to be a little bit further out on the edges and again those big options uh big bait options are are usually very good here in august especially under larger bodies of water because that's their peak temps yep. um and the peak activity a lot of times for the season so one other question for you, Jeff, is clear water or dark water? I know you fish a lot of both. Is there one that's better than other this month? You know, in August, it's really tough to say. I would say when it's cooling down, the darker water stuff, especially if you've been experiencing some hot weather, as that stuff starts to cool down, it could be absolutely on fire. That's definitely something I would say to look for. Something with a high stain level, high particulate, algae bloom type stuff, as that gets that cool down comes off of that, you know, 78 to 82 or wherever you find yourself at during peak of the heat of August dog days up here. 
as that stuff starts to drop, those lakes typically fire back off. When it gets super hot like that, I mean, it's, well, it's hot for up here, but it's not hot other places. It, we don't really get the super high temps up here. We're too far north. But the fish, when it cools down, I'd say stained water as a rule. Um, when you're still dealing with that heat, the bigger systems are gonna keep that water temp cooler and more in their comfort zone. And, and that's typically what I'd focus on. Heat, larger bodies of water. As you get those cool downs, the smaller bodies of water that might have been shut down by the heat wave tend to turn on in many times in a big way. Sure. So there you go, some tips from Jeff Vandermorto who's fishing up here in northern Wisconsin, crushing it up here in northern Wisconsin typically. And uh, hopefully that helps put a few fish in the boat this month. Good luck on the water.